All right, as you're watching this, there should be a new season of Avengers available. I'm still recording this during Hexylvania, but as of recording, we're three hours away from Winterfest. So the modifier of this season is what I want to talk about first. Then we can talk about some loadouts that you guys might want to use throughout the venture season. If you just care about the rewards, I will be covering that in a second. It'll be a timestamp down below if you guys want to skip ahead. So first and foremost, soldiers are really, really good. So the damage of headshots is doubled. So you want to aim for the head. And when you get kills with a ranged weapon, I believe it reduces the cooldown of your abilities. That is really awesome. I will be showcasing probably one of my favorite builds in the entire game. It's a Raven build. I'm going to be making individual loadouts for this season. So this is something similar to what I did. Well, exactly this season is during the Hexylvania season. I went through and decided how many times can I say season in one video? And in that process, I made a video on Ventures minigun loadout on a farming build that works, a Teddy build that works, Blake Beard stash. A lot of these work for any season, but I'm going to try to make some fun ones as individual videos for the season as well just to give you guys some fun ways to play constructors are cheaper materials moving on <laughs> ninjas have a great little ability going on where when you focus your efforts on ability eliminations you can gain increased melee damage and attack speed from abilities and then melee eliminations reduce your ability cooldown so you'll be switching between smoke screen uh, smoke bomb and then like dragon slash all that kind of stuff uh, between your different melee weapons and then outlanders have free anti-material charge free which means your farming loadout is clip in the lead and you're good to go <laughs> you're, you're perfectly fine you also get a teddy uh or sorry a teddy fragment uh, i believe a fragment works for teddy and uh uh and shock tower so every 50 seconds that's a really really nice ability so yeah it's basically a superheroes modifier it's awesome and if you want specific loadouts i will link this down below this shows a lot of the basic ones so this will be down in the description but like i said i will be posting individual videos on that as well uh if you're looking for ventures xp i'm gonna just search it up here but i'll have it linked down for you uh down below i'm not gonna get oh my goodness i'm not gonna get too much into it because i have a whole video detailing it right here it's six minutes but it shows a lot of the details the footnotes are going through the missions as fast as possible or maxing out the blue glow if you're going to be there a while doing your quests and your different objectives that you have to do and i will show that on 490 db the page that i'm going to right now will be linked down below but 490 db is all winter theme Cavson did a great job but uh we're gonna go to the database season 13 rewards and he actually prettied up the page your boy here you're welcome gave a little bit of feedback and he actually he listened and made this very very clean so initially we have quest progression you guys can actually see all the different quests to get all the extra superchargers this has been, never been featured on 490b before and i think he did a really good job just laying this all out but a lot of this stuff is not necessary so you can actually collapse it and uh, i'm glad that he implemented that because i thought that'd be a nice way to clean it up and this just shows you everything so if you do all the elimination quests you guys like with the different abilities uh you can get a weapon supercharger a hero supercharger core reperk that's really really nice if you get you know the different locations and stuff you guys can see all the different bonuses survivor trap supercharger if you're looking to spend your Superchargers, I have a video on that down below. If you look at a spend your core reperk, I have a video on that down below. Obviously, I mentioned the XP already. And then hero and weapon vouchers are something that you might want to spend wisely. So not only will I link that video down below, but the yearly timeline will be available as as well. Because a lot of the stuff that I suggest are very often like the dinos and the totally rocking out heroes. And now's a great time to voucher that stuff regardless. But June 19th is the beginning of that. That's that's a ways away. But I don't want to suggest like clip to voucher, even though she's great. But actually, as I say that clip might be the best thing to voucher if you don't have her already because she just left meaning she's gone until next year september 4th is the next time we'll see her or i'm sorry actually november 6th will be the next time we see her because this whole event starts but she's only available later so anything in red are like the stuff that's highlighted you really want to pick up and uh those videos will be down below for your your resource but this video as a resource on its own will show you the key things you want to know first and foremost 2.3 million ventures xp is what you need to hit level 50 that will finish out the venture season and you'll be good to go afterwards level 50 51 2 3 and then to 60 and then it loops forever you'll be getting these rewards. So you can just read that if you're interested. 1200 reperk is kind of a lot. I don't like going past 50, but I feel like 51 is a little worth it just for the 1200 reperk. That is two perks. That's a lot. That's like a 160 cat four three times <laughs> so it's actually kind of all right it's kind of all right it's a nice little bonus but beyond that i'm not really personally interested some of you ventures grinders will be well aware of these rewards then the reward summary on the left is everything you get just from the level 1 to 50 rewards this is not the uh the quest down below but it's a nice summary and if you uncollapse this you can see all of the rewards but i really like what cav did here where you can just see the footnotes for example if you only want a weapon voucher it's available at level 13 if you only want to reperk something it's available at level 
17. A lot of people, I don't support this, no matter what power level you are, you should go for the superchargers in my opinion. Even if you're only in Candy Valley or Plankerton or even Stonewood, someday you'll be glad that you have those superchargers. And Ventures can be a really good way to level up without worrying about your power level in the meantime. So even in Ventures, you can unlock like legendary survivors periodically if you see them in the mission alerts. And that cycles daily, but throughout Ventures, you can actually progress in the main game just as well. Anyway, anyway, that aside, some people only play to get the vouchers and you only have to play to level 20. That's actually not that far. Uh, that's that's a pretty short amount of time. But your first survivor supercharger is at 25. You get a couple more at 31. I know a lot of people, I almost did this one season where they stop at 46 because that is the last ventures level that will impact your power level outside of ventures. And that is five survivor superchargers right there. But uh, I like to play to 50 because that weapon supercharger is super useful. If you're curious which zones unlock when, uh, this is an important one. Level 10 is when you start to see level 23 zones. I say that's important because initially you'll be seeing power level 5 and 15 zones. I typically run 15 right away. Even like if you have a good squad of people, all of you level 1, you should be able to take care of level 15. Little footnote, do not start your very first mission in an atlas. Because if you actually go to the locating quest, I think it might be the missions quest. Let me find that right here. And then collapse it you can see the very first quest is complete a mission and then the very next one is complete a fight the storm mission which is an atlas mission so you always want to do not an atlas or not a retrieve the data and then your next two will be much easier to complete that's just a little pro tip but you can see the third one initially is a 23 plus zone and that's important because you will finish all of the initial alerts in the 5 and 15 zones well before your ventures level 10 it's kind of a slow start but once you are level 10 you can see those 23 zones then you start getting a lot more xp and it really starts moving and then the next notable one is when you see the 140 zones and that is ventures level 43 so yeah those are the wards that's a nice overview these are the exact same every season but i these videos still get views and people really appreciate me reminding you so yeah even if you already knew all this here's your reminder that it's unchanged i've had this double checked by archer in the files and cav read the same files and everybody's certain that the rewards are exactly this so if i'm wrong i'll pin a comment but i highly doubt that i'll uh see you guys later and uh yeah so little trick about youtube this is this is something that i'm very open about i do youtube and twitch full time and YouTube has a thing where if you make the video eight minutes, you can put ads in the video. And I hate stretching for time, but these have never been so long before. So what I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite builds. Lately, I showed the lefty and righty build. These are all my weird, my weird live streams. I showed lefty and righty and I called him amazing because he is. But this build has one major drawback, and that is a 50 second cooldown. This is one of the strongest loadouts in the entire game. It is awesome. And in this season of ventures, if you use a soldier, or I actually, I don't know if you need to be a soldier. I think you do. I mean, you will be because you're using Raven, so maybe I should use my brain before I speak. But if you use a ranged weapon and get some kills and lower the cooldown of this ability, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to make a video on that loadout. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Twitch link down below if you guys want to come hang out and uh, take it easy. Enjoy the season.